Hi everyone and welcome to this series on Tesla concept vehicles, where I look into the potential total addressable market for some of the most interesting concept designs and whether it would actually be feasible for Tesla to enter these segments and take market share. Elon Musk and Tesla are known to make crazy fun equipment and vehicles, like the boring company's flamethrower and the Tesla Cyberquad, so you never know if any of these concepts are completely out of the question. If you want to follow this series, hit the subscribe button down below to see all the weird and wonderful concepts coming up. In this video, we're looking into the potential Tesla UTV or utility terrain vehicle. The global UTV total addressable market was worth 4.1 billion US dollars in 2017 and is expected to reach approximately 7.4 billion US dollars in 2026. So there is actually a decent market size for Tesla to potentially enter. The US and North American countries are the largest consumers of utility task vehicles. These vehicles are highly appreciated for off-road adventure and recreational activities as several off-road rallies and races are organised frequently in this region. Consequently, the region is crowned as the leader in overall UTV market in terms of market value. Asia Pacific proposes high prospects for the UTV market to grow in this region as UTVs are extensively used in countries such as Australia, New Zealand and China for agricultural applications. With the rise in disposable income and the growing popularity of UTVs in China and India, the UTV market in the Asia-Pacific region is expected to reach new heights from 2021 to 2028. Interestingly, the Middle East Africa UTV market size was valued at around 270 million US dollars in 2018 and is estimated to exhibit a 6.5% compound annual growth rate from 2019 to 2025. Increasing preferences of infrastructure contractors and planners for deploying easily operable vehicles on construction sites will propel the UTV market size for instance, in 2016, Egypt implemented investments in construction and building sector rose to 1.4 billion US dollars with an increase of over 3% as compared with 2015. UTVs are so popular because they have distinct advantages over other four wheels off-road vehicles. They have a small footprint with greater power to weight ratio and can carry additional passengers, which families enjoy, and provide more safety features than vehicles like ATVs. There are many things that can determine a UTV's cost. Average costs range between $4,000 and $22,000 US dollars. The most common influences of UTV prices are its model, make, year, condition and any added features to the vehicle. The all-terrain vehicle is used for sports activities such as dirt track and hill climbing. It is usually used in uneven terrains and remote areas. It is an ideal vehicle for use in environments such as mountains, riverbanks, forests, snow and others. ATVs are mostly used in applications such as sports adventures and rescue operations. They can accommodate two or more people along with additional loads. And in recent years, the increasing demand for ATV and UTVs owes to the growing tourism industry. The rising trend of adventure sports and sports activities has enlarged the demand for such vehicles. The growing living standards and rising consumer disposable income also boosts this global market. Some other factors driving the market growth includes the agricultural and defence sectors, supportive government enterprises and technological advancements. UTVs have a massive variety of uses and they can pretty much go anywhere, with side-by-sides having many common uses for both work and pleasure. With a vast selection of add-ons and accessories, you can equip your side-by-side to do exactly what you want it to do. You can go hunting with endless accessories available such as gun racks, bow racks, camouflage covers, noise reduction exhausts, and game hoists. There is also farming uses. Not only can you haul or tow stuff around the farm, but you can also get various farming attachments including sickle bar mowers, hay doilies, cultivators, plough and livestock feeders. Racing is also a fun use with many side-by-side -side races occurring nowadays. In various different terrains, you could join with some add-ons to your side-by-side, -side, like race seats, five-point harnesses, roll cages, solid doors and a fire extinguisher. There is also winter riding in snow, with accessories available to keep you warm and provide utility, such as heaters, windshields, snow plough, snow blower, chains and tracks. There are quite a few benefits of a UTV over an ATV, such as the ability to carry multiple riders comfortably, this steering wheel, which many people feel more comfortable driving with, added safety features such as a roll cage and seat belts, more space for carrying gear, firewood and rocks, sporty long travel suspension providing a smoother ride, the ability to add cabin closures and heat or air conditioning, higher payload and towing capacities, and typically higher resale values. There are also three types of UTVs out there which all serve different purposes and have different uses. They are sport UTVs, one of the fastest growing parts of the UTV market in the sports segment, they are designed and tuned from factory to go as fast as they can over terrain. Performance models are easily distinguishable 
because of their suspensions and mean aesthetic looks. Larger engines also mean that there are some of the fastest models around and are used for racing, dunes and general tray riding at higher speeds. Next are utility UTVs and they do exactly what they say. They provide tons of utility and these models you want to choose when you want to get some work done. They can tow, haul, push and pull almost anything you need for the size they are. Utility models are used on job sites and for general transportation because of their ease of use and many functions. Winches, ability to haul heavy loads and great towing capacity are features on most of these UTVs. Then there are sport utility UTVs, which are a blend of both the other types and can do a little bit of everything. They have better shocks and more speed for riding around on terrain at faster speeds. They are more comfortable to ride in and make things better overall for you as the driver. Most sport utility side-by-sides have four or even six seats, which is ideal for family rides. In 2019, conventional fuel UTVs are racing away with a considerable margin compared to electric UTVs. The popularity of UTVs with internal combustion engines, especially diesel engines, allow conventional fuel UTVs to dominate the overall market. UTVs powered by internal combustion engines currently produce more power and are associated with the thrill of riding and racing. Consequently, the segment expected to reign supreme over its electric counterpart during the 2021 to 2028 period. Electric UTVs are still underdeveloped and going through a lot of technological innovations. With major manufacturing paying keen attention to its development, electric UTVs projected to claim considerable market share in the future. Fierce competition among some of the world's major automotive and utility manufacturers is evident in the UTV market. As the market grows, manufacturers are running that extra mile to launch new variants and attract consumers from different end-use applications. Dedicated vehicles for agriculture, sports and military applications are introduced by these companies with advanced safety features, performance and utility and installing confidence in the minds of customers about their products. Companies are facing tough price fights with each other and non-branded companies from developing regions to claim their share in the competition. There might actually be some benefit for Tesla to enter the UTV market, as they seem to be growing in popularity, and if they can do an ATV, then it isn't completely out of the question. An all-electric UTV with a Tesla badge would likely sell really well, as you know you'll be getting the best battery technology along with the best performance. This could be a smaller niche product for Tesla, similar to how their ATV will be. Let me know in the comments what you think of a potential Tesla UTV, and whether it could take meaningful market share in the global off-road sports sector. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Tesla and investing videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.